Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So, we are up and we woke up. Well, I woke up a little bit late. A little bit. A little bit. No surprise there, no, eh? No surprises, no surprises. So, uh, we've just got our stuff ready. We're going to go and post some postcards. Write some postcards. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to have a little explore, maybe do some shopping and laundry later on. That's Woo, boring. Laundry and shopping. <laughs> laundry and shopping. Last time you saw us, we had just arrived here in Gibraltar. Gibraltar is actually bordered by La Linea, which is Spain, whereas Gibraltar is a British territory. We're staying in La Linea Marina, which is actually here on the Spanish side. This means that we have to cross the border in order to get through to Gibraltar. This is about a 40 minute walk from our marina. Although we read online about some restrictions to do with COVID and to do with customs, we had to queue a little bit longer post Brexit in the passport queue. But other than showing our passports and getting stamped, there was nothing else we needed to do. We didn't need to show any proof of vaccinations or COVID tests. The only thing I would say is do insist on getting your passport stamped if you are a British passport holder, because they seemed quite relaxed with the stamping of passports and obviously this can affect your 90 day Shenzhen visas. We also have to cross this airstrip here, which is pretty cool. So this is the airstrip we're now walking past. This is the rock that we can see out the back of our boat, but this is so cool. Gibraltar is just 2.6 square miles in size. With a population of about 33,000 people, it has the fifth highest density of any country or territory in the world. Gibraltar is a fascinating and actually quite unique place. It's a heavily fortified British air and naval base that guards the Strait of Gibraltar, which is the only entrance in the Mediterranean Sea from the Atlantic Ocean. Because of the lack of space on the peninsula, there is no agriculture. The main source of income are the provisioning of ships and military personnel, tourism and the re-export trade. The British government is responsible for defence and external affairs, but Gibraltar has full internal self-government under its 2006 constitution. The status of Gibraltar has remained a source of friction between the Spanish and British governments. In a non-binding referendum in 2002, Recognised by neither government, 99% of Gibraltar's voters rejected joint British-Spanish sovereignty. Gibraltar subsequently was allowed by both governments to represent itself in negotiations on its future. We are taking you guys around Gibraltar Rock today. We are, we've got the cable car up. Yeah. And we're currently on top of the rock, which is awesome. So cool. On top of the world. <laughs> yeah, we've got some monkeys to see, the St. Michael's Cave. Uh, there's a bunch of like World War II tunnels to see, and there's just so much history. Really looking forward to it. This is just so cool. Honestly. We are in the best day out ever. This was so <laughs> worth it. This is awesome. Honestly, it's there's something really special seeing the um seeing the uh, baby macaque is uh, just the best thing ever. And they were playing in the water. It's so cute. They're adorable. There's so much wildlife on this little rock. Like, well I'll say little, it's massive. <laughs> But yeah, there's just so much wildlife. It's it's just a really, really cool place. I, I'm, I'm sold, really like it. What's in there, buddy? There's some little like lizard eggs. That's oh. so cute. Nice, <laughs> 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 
If anyone knows what that noise is, if, I, I don't know. is just over there on the right hand side of that marina. <laughs> there. <laughs> That was so cool. We really, really enjoyed that. Um, definitely worth kind of a whole day thing. There's a lot, so much to see up there. Um, we spent, we've spent obviously like hours up there and nothing, there's still a lot more we could have seen. Uh, it's a really beautiful nature reserve. Yeah. Uh, so, and there's so much like wildlife up there. Like Brins had this one weird thing, you could, like try and land on him. It was bizarre. Never seen anything like it before. Clear wings, just, it was the size of the palm of my hand. I don't know whether the video will show it up properly, but. The caves were just something else. They were honestly like awe inspiring. I loved They were just, yeah. I was speechless, like looking at those caves. In that cave where it's like, it does the light show. Yeah. Wow. Like we was just sitting down watching it so immersive. Yeah, we were like, I want to live here in this cave and I would just watch this for hours. And then Jade talked about when the lights would go yeah, off. Yeah, it'd be creepy with the lights off, so maybe not. <laughs> we're, we're dying of it now because it's been, it's like 27 degrees, feels like 30 degrees apparently, the weather says. Yep. Sweat's just pouring off us now. It's, it was a hot day to go for that hike. Yeah. We still need to acclimatise to <laughs> yeah. this kind of heat. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. So we're kind of, uh, we don't know exactly what we're doing at the minute. We know we're leaving tomorrow. Um, the reason why we haven't been able to leave is the the wind is pushing the wrong way. And so if we tried to get round Gibraltar with the wind going over the tide, that can lead to some uh, not so great conditions. So we're waiting for the wind to point back into the med, um, which it's starting to do now, but there is actually, it starts to actually kick up. So we're gonna leave because we should get to where we're going before the worst of the wind actually hits. But then we're probably going to end up staying there for a day or two just to wait out that bad weather that's coming past. So we obviously, we were hoping we'd be able to anchor a lot and we've been kind of scoping the the coast and there's just not many decent anchorages, is there? Not along this stretch not of South Coast. Not along this stretch coast. of South Coast. And obviously with these weather fronts coming in, we're going to have some terrible nights at anchor. So, we're yeah. We're going to try and find the cheap marinas and where we can we're going to do longer passages yes that is the plan so we have some sunshade finally because we are dying we feed the fishies give the fishies some breakfast he's making his famous flatbreads yes looking good smelling good um yeah we just chilling and um, cooking some dinner we're having some lentil dal flatbreads some nice oven broccoli that's it some healthy meal smells good in here doesn't it yeah it smells amazing it's so hot today um we've just pretty much been in the boat all day i've been editing brin's been just doing stuff on your phone and yeah and emailing peeps and talking emailing to family people, talking to family it's been super chilled yeah. um yeah, chillin.
thank you. Boop. So, we're all set to leave today. And then we rechecked the weather and we were like, mm, doesn't look great. Let's just recheck the tides and then you check the tides and the tides aren't right either, are they? No, we mistimed it. And the Gibraltar Strait, or the like, round in Gibraltar, I just don't want to get that wrong. Yeah, the tides were at 3.40 a.m. That was high, yeah, high well, tide. Yeah. And ideally, from what I've been, like people in front of us and looking in the almanac and stuff, you want to leave at one hour before high tide Gibraltar, and that'll give you the most tidal run with you. Um, and the tidal turn, four hours after high tide. Mm -hmm. The tide was at 3.30 at 7.30 the tides turned and we was going to be going through Gibraltar as the tide was turning mm. or maybe even a little bit after that so it wasn't that wouldn't have been good a lot of people that are probably like thinking just go just go and for us to leave we'd just be taking a risk mm. like for us anyway it might be fine but we don't know and we don't want to find out when we're out there we'd rather just get round Gibraltar on a day that we know is going to be a good day. So it's our last day in Gibraltar slash Lillian here today. And it's National Day in Gibraltar! It's National Day in Gibraltar! So we're going to go and check out, see what's going on, see what events are on. We're going to finally meet someone that we've been talking to on Instagram for quite a while now and that is Chris, one half of Sailing Indiana. Unfortunately Lauren can't be here but Chris is here celebrating National Day with some of his friends yep. so we're gonna go meet up with them finally. Really excited to meet them. Yeah can't wait. We had such a good time hanging out with Chris and also our fabulous hosts Dave and Joelle who showed us an awesome time in Gibraltar. As some of you may know if you follow us on social media or see our YouTube community posts, we are now actually back in the UK. In next week's episode, we take a brief break from our travel vlogs to update you guys with what's been going on, as well as talk to you about some of the lessons learned in our trip to the Mediterranean.